Greetings, my Doc Kids YouTube friends. I pray that you're blessed and doing well today. Taking a break from Facebook. Um, I've been there over four years, four and a half years, I think. I've told people many times that as long as I can reach one person for the Lord, of, uh, I will go ahead and keep a ministry going. I put a post on Facebook today about Satanism taking over the country, the planet, even uh, elementary schools now. Satanic te textbooks getting passed around and not one person uh, responded in any way on that uh, post in over an hour. So I'm not even reaching the one there right now. So uh, people, whatever they're doing, they're complacent, they have their own agenda. Taking a break for a while, but that means I'll be doing a lot more on YouTube now. So watch for videos more often, maybe even daily, at least every other day. And we'll see how the Facebook thing goes. I want to talk today about a topic that, um, you know, people just need to understand how truly, truly close we are uh, to the imminent rapture and what role that the United States of America plays in end times prophecy. Many, most actually will tell you that the U.S. has no place in end time prophecy. They're totally wrong. The U.S. is none other than the great whore of Babylon. And I'm going to share a video that has all the scriptural proof that shows you exactly from the Bible, like I always do. I don't tell you things that what my opinion is, I'll tell you what the Bible says. <clears throat> I'm going to prove to you that the U.S. is none other than the great whore of Babylon, and her reward is waiting. So let's talk about something that I talked about uh, several years ago, and I apologize in advance for my dogs barking. I can't do anything about that. Uh, they, they bark at stuff outside. Hopefully my wife will get them quieted down. But here's what's going on with um, something I want to talk about. Back in November of 2010, I was given prophetic word from the Holy Spirit. I was praying. Uh, interceding in prayer for this filthy nation uh, because I had read an article where uh, unborn babies were being dumped into, and actually newborn babies as well, were being dumped into garbage dumpsters. And it broke my heart. And I was praying, seeking the Lord, just almost in tears. And the Lord told me, go ahead and just take a break. The Holy Spirit said, and listen what I'm going to tell you and share. He told me that judgment was coming upon this once great nation, this once the nation who was once protected from from evil by the hand of God, that God was going to lift his hand of, of protection, replace it with his hand of judgment. He told me because of all of the abortion going on, because of all of the uh, anti-Semitism, because of all of the hatred of Christians, because of all of the <clears throat> the sexual immorality, because of all of the uh, just taking God out of everything possible you can imagine, and just the, the the anger and the filth and the evilness and the wickedness in this country. God was going to judge us. And lo and behold, a few weeks later, on 1-1-11, when the blackbirds fell out of the sky in B.B. Arkansas, the judgment started, and it's been rolling like a steamroller since then. So this was prophetic word that has come to pass and is coming to pass. Now, I'm not a prophet. I tell everybody I am not a prophet. I received prophetic word, and I shared it because the Lord knew that I would. But what he told me to, to tell you is happening. And it's rolling right up towards uh, the U.S.'s fate as a great war of Babylon. Understand that the rapture of the church is imminent, my friends. Any second of any day, Jesus Christ is going to break the skies. He's going to take us all to heaven. Most Christians don't even believe that. They, they live their life like the rapture is going to be forever away if it even does happen. They don't care. They aren't, inst aren't interested in hearing what I have to say and those like me. It's really, really sad. It breaks my heart. But understand, the rapture is going to happen any second of any day. God said, no man knows the day and the hour, not even Jesus or the angels. But it's going to happen any second of any day. When it does, if you're not ready to go, whether you're, if you're not saved, you're not ready to go right now. But if you're a backslidden Christian, which is sadly what most Christians are now, you're not ready either. And when that rapture happens, there's no timeouts, no do-overs, no way to sect Jesus, no, I was about to, no. You're left behind. And when you're left behind, you think the world's bad right now? Look at the news. Read Matthew 24 and see what Jesus Christ said, told his disciples what was going to happen right before he came back. All those things are happening now like a steamroller. You think things are bad right now, though? Wait until you're left behind and you end up just living through hell on earth if you can even live through it. That just makes today's world seem like Disneyland with a speed pass going to the front of the line forever. I link up a video, every video that I do in, in comments, I link a video up. Uh, on the Tribulation Survival Guide. It shows you uh, how to be saved in your last chance during the, tri the Tribulation and what to expect during the Tribulation. 
But understand, my friends, time is truly, truly, truly short, and you need to make sure you're ready to go to heaven. I hear from so many friends that tell me that they're just saddened because they, they feel like they've lost their way with Christ, that he doesn't love them anymore. They can't pray and read the word because Satan hates us, and he wants to destroy us. He wants to convince all of us that we're not going to make it to heaven. But just rebuke him in Jesus' name. When Satan comes after you, rebuke him in Jesus' name and command him, get behind me, Satan, in Jesus' name. You may have to do it a thousand times. But you keep doing it over and over and over and over and understand as long as you're living for Christ, you're saved by his precious blood, pick up your cross daily and follow him, you repent of your sins after you're saved, and you're in the word of God, you pray, you witness, you're going to go to heaven. There's no zero doubt about that. You need to make sure you're always, always, always ready. And I've got 250 scriptures that prove you have to repent of your sins after you're saved. It's not my word, it's God's word. And you have to understand, God does not lie. And if you don't repent of your sins... You're just playing Russian roulette with the bullet in the chamber, and you're not going to make it to heaven if you're not saved and repenting of your sins after you're saved. You've got to stop doing that. Why would you take a chance with your salvation and and and, and just play crazy? Because like Russian roulette is one of the craziest things I can ever think of anyone playing. Why would you do that with your salvation? Be sure. Don't do crazy stuff. Live for the Lord and serve Him the way you're supposed to. Now. If you aren't saved or you're a backslider, it's time to pray now and get right with the Lord before your time runs out because no one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second. When you wake up after you die, wherever you are is where you are forever. Choose heaven. Choose wisely. Let's pray. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day, went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father to make a place for all your children forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ. A child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. When you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. When you get saved, get you a King James Version Bible. It's a living, breathing word of God. It will feed your spirit and soul. Will you feed your body with food and water every day? Pray to Jesus daily. He loves you. He's your new best friend. Wants to talk with you every day. Get water baptized by being dunked under water like Jesus was as soon as possible. If you were sprinkled baptized in the past, it doesn't count, my friends. Do it over again. Pray to be sanctified, fill with the Holy Spirit from head to toe by living for Christ, by praying, by reading the Bible every day. Take that King James Version Bible to church when the preacher speaks. Make sure it matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out. And lastly, repent, repent, repent. Every time you sin after you're saved, if you want to go to heaven, repent. Now, all these things I just prayed in the next steps are all down in comments below the video title and description. You can pray it yourself. I know I talk fast. I'm sorry about that. That's how God made me. But you go ahead and pray it if you couldn't keep up with me. Now, if you'd like me to pray for you for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn or deserve it when I prayed for it. He gave it to me. If you ask me to, I'll pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life, knowing that God will perform that miracle if it's in his holy will. And if he does, it's all because of him, nothing to do with me. I'm the least in his kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Let's witness and pray, my friends, what little time we have left. Let's just keep pointing the laws to the cross of Christ so they can go in the imminent rapture with a few who are truly ready. I love you all. I don't want to see anyone die and go to hell. So let's just look up, my friends. If you're truly ready, look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. I'll see you next time. The Lord lays something on my heart from that rapture or dead first. And have a blessed weekend. Bye.